Have you ever had those moments where you feel insecure about your skin? Well, for me, it was the dark spots on my face. Wherever I go, I get people calling me, Hey, I have this product. Do you want to use it? So my friend texted me talking about this cream that she used that actually helped her. At first, I didn't believe it. So I asked her to use it and show me her results in a month later. So this was her face before and her after was so interesting like you wouldn't even believe it so that was when i decided to use it too so this is me using the product on my face for the first time i got my friend set because she's dark and i've always had this fear of bleaching so i was given her set i was given soap cream and then a cleanser so that is me using the soap on my face to be honest i was so hopeful that this was actually going to be my breakthrough this was actually going to be what would actually stop me from using filters and also prevent me from working like i'm shy i don't want people to see my face i'm ugly like all those kind of insecurities this was actually going to make me stop but let's see what happens this is me applying the cleanser and please don't say anything because i didn't have cotton or those kind of stuff to use to apply the cleanser which is i was using the tool at, at that particular time do you see how burning my skin was i explain at the end of the video so this was my results after a week the initial signs of change emerged sooner than i anticipated i mean i was expecting it to like show up in two weeks but here we are This is week two. We go again. The routine became a constant thing that I was doing all the time, morning and evening. But this time I decided to switch things up. Instead of washing the soap off my face with water, I decided to use the towel to clean it just to see if it will work better. And at this point, I was still using the towel because the pharmacy around didn't have what I was needing. And I noticed something the cleanser was burning it was really burning my skin and i didn't know exactly what to do everything was burning i feel like my skin had become sensitive from the constant use of the product but i was hopeful because my friend's face looked so mind-blowing and that was what kept me going so that's me applying the cream to my face at this point i was so hopeful that the subtle changes had begun to surface and I was so happy. I went to ask my sister, hey, do you see any difference on my face? Did I look different? She was like, oh yeah, it's working. I was like, okay, cool. So I decided to continue using it, but I realized my lips were constantly drying up. So I decided to incorporate lip gloss into this routine. Approaching the third week, I thought through and decided to change the routine. I stopped using the cleanser because my skin was super sensitive. I was just using the soap and the cream, which was actually working, like it was still working. So that's me in week three applying the soap. And I realized I made some tiny little mistakes that I wasn't supposed to do in the first place. But I'll tell you at the end of the video. So if you've watched to this point, don't forget to like subscribe and share this video for anyone going through this kind of issues that i did so because this part of the video is still the same routine as the first and second week i'm just going to go ahead and skip on to the last for you to see just to not make the video long hi guys so today i have a little update so I changed up things a bit because I was stressing, okay? You know, before I was just using the soap, like after bad thing, then I used the soap and then the cleanser and then the um, cream. But when I changed things up, I decided to like use the soap in the bathroom, like to get me. So like after bad thing, I used the soap directly on my face, then wash it off and then later come and apply the cleanser and the cream so that like i don't touch any soap get it because i have to like record so as i'm standing here right now i've already used the soap in the bathroom so i am here to show you 
what my face looks like now. <laughs> I'm letting you can already see. But yeah, so my face looks a bit dry. My face looks a bit dry because I haven't like applied cream. I think I I just have my body. So let me show you my face now. I don't know, but I feel like you can tell it's lightening up a bit. Because the before, let me shift this as I'll put it before you. The before was bad, very, very bad. But now it looks like this, so I feel like it's getting better. It's working. So this is my forehead. And I'm going to put them before here so you see what my forehead looked like. Okay, enough with the talking. Now let's use the product. We'll find out right after I take this makeup off. But first of all, let me tell you the little tiny challenges that I did that I wasn't supposed to do. So the first thing I did was after applying the soap to my face, I left the soap to dry for like 30 minutes. Who does that? So I texted the owner of the product and this is what she told me. Oh my dear, 30 minutes is too much, okay? 30 minutes is too much. The beauty soap is not supposed to be on your face for 30 minutes. Oh, it's very much, please. So please, from now on, immediately apply it on your face. Wash it off. That you see? So that was when I knew... We fucked up. The next thing I also did that I wasn't supposed to do was using Tiro, replacing Tiro with um cotton pad. Who does that? It was just hurting my skin. I think that was what even caused my face to be so sensitive. If you are using your skincare product, please get the right stuff that you are supposed to use on your face. Don't be like me. Don't go and be using too your face. The like. next thing I did was I wasn't consistent. I used the product today. Then I feel like my face is looking all. So I just stopped <laughs> using it, which wasn't right. The next thing I realized was that whenever I used the cleanser, I felt this burning sensation and the cream too. I didn't know. I feel like at that time, my skin became super sensitive because when I was using the tube, I was just rubbing. I wasn't even dabbing or doing anything. <laughs> so I don't, don't do what I did because I have come to realize that when it comes to skincare products, you have to be patient, you have to be consistent, and that wasn't what I was doing, so I wouldn't recommend you do that. Don't don't be like me, okay? Before I show you what my current face looks like after two months of applying the product, let me just show you what the product looks like. Okay, so that's the product. The product's brand is called Penny Cosmetics and from my research the product actually contains goat milk and carrot extract so if you're someone that is actually planning to use this product please do check if you have allergies of like goat milk or carrot extract before getting it so like you don't have any issues so the package came in a ziploc bag like exactly as you are seeing that's exactly what the package came in and that's the cream for my face and it also came with the soap the bar soap and finally cleanser i don't know what the cleanser contains because i couldn't read anything i only got the good extract and carrot from the soap you're seeing so yeah that's the product okay so this is my current face after two months of applying the cream i would say the product worked but it didn't really work for me like it did for my friend and it probably did that because i wasn't consistent at using the product and i wasn't doing exactly what i was supposed to do so this is what my current face looks like So on that note, if you found this video helpful, 
or you have any question relating to this particular product don't forget to leave a comment in the section and don't forget to like and share to your friends who might also be needing this video so don't leave yet my next video is my graduation vlog i finally graduated from Takari technical university so stay tuned and make sure you don't miss anything that i post see you in my next video bye